Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you how to, in very rough terms, record with OBS. Right now I'm with recording with a uh, shadow play because I prefer that. But for the people who prefer quality over shadow play, you can record with OBS, for example. It's just more CPU heavy. So first, I'm gonna take you through my settings here. My settings are what we're gonna look at is encoding. I have uh, X264. This is good encoder. Just use that one. And then you, I have CBR, CBR padding enabled. The bit rate is actually for streaming right now, but you can up this without a problem if you have the power to do it. All of these, if you have the proper computer to do it, just up them to whatever you want in in um, in recording. <clears throat> After that, we're gonna head to video. I have it downscaled to 720 because it is for streaming. I would recommend you to record in 1080p. I have my filter to bilinear and I have my FPS to 30. Now, as I said, this is for streaming. So if you're video recording, I would recommend you to record gameplay in 60 FPS. It's just better to look at. On the advanced, you can just quickly look here, pause the video if you want to use any of these settings. So the, the recording itself, I'm going to add a scene here and say dead by daylight. You, you can call this whatever you want. So now I have a new scene here with no source. So I'm going to add a source by I'm right clicking the sources add. We're going to have to go game capture and I'm just going to call it DBD for Dead by Daylight. So right here, you can look through all of your applications, right? So I'm going to take Dead by Daylight, uh, Windows 64 shipping. So this is just what the EXE is called, really. So it looks through all of your open applications and you can find them. So after that, you simply just press OK and then you can start recording. Now, as you can notice here, it does not show up for some reason. And the reason for that is there's a very good chance that that reason is because we do not have anti-cheat compatibility hooking. This means that the anti-cheat is kind of blocking us from recording it. So we're going to put that on and see if it works now. As you can see, it works perfectly fine now. So right now it's recording my Dead by Daylight um, gameplay in the background. So that's really it. Just remember to use that anti-cheat hooking because sometimes that's extremely relevant. And of course there are, you need to remember when you're looking up which kind of settings you should have. They're very different from when you're streaming to when you're uploading videos to YouTube. When you're uploading them to YouTube, you can usually have higher bit rates, higher resolution, better quality. But when you're upload or when you're streaming it to Twitch, you need to make sure that everyone can actually stream it without buffering all the time. So you need to have like this threshold of acceptable quality and and proper settings. So that's really it. It's so simple. 